Hello students, today we are going to discuss how to determine the value of Stephen's constant using radiating copper plate. So, the object of your experiment will be to determine the value of Stephen's constant by radiating copper plates. The apparatus used will be two copper plates, three thermometers and a power supply which has built-in AC voltmeter and emitter. Before going into the experimental details, let us first try to understand what a black body is and what is black body spectrum. You know any body at temperature which is greater than absolute zero emits radiation in all the directions over a wide range of wavelengths and we define black body as a body that completely absorbs all the radiations incident on it. It then emits thermal radiations in a continuous spectrum according to its temperature. For practical purposes, we can use the cavity with a hole as shown in this figure. You have to keep in your mind that this hole acts as a black body not the cavity. Let us now discuss the characteristics of black body radiation. As shown in the figure, the energy density of a black body continuously changes with the wavelength. At a given temperature, say at temperature T1, the energy density first increases, reaches a maximum value and then decreases with the wavelength. As temperature increases, as in this figure, you have T3 greater than T2 and greater than T1. So, if you increase the temperature from T1 to T2, the energy density will again increase with the wavelength, will reach a maximum value and then will decrease. But as the temperature increases, the amount of emitted radiation is also increasing. And as the temperature increases, the wavelength corresponding to maximum energy density, which we say lambda m, decreases. So, you have Wien's displacement law here that lambda m into T is constant. This is Wien's displacement law. So, when you increase the temperature, this is not maximum wavelength. This is wavelength corresponding to maximum radiation intensity. This wavelength will decrease with temperature. Now, according to Stephens Boltzmann law, the total amount of energy radiated by a black body per unit area per unit time is proportional to the fourth power of its temperature. So, E will be sigma t to the power 4 and here sigma is the Stephens constant. Now, if you place your black body in a surrounding temperature T naught, then it will also be receiving the heat radiations which will be given by sigma t naught to the power 4. That is the net amount of heat radiations given out by the body per unit area per unit time will be sigma t to the power 4 minus t naught to the power 4. Now, if A is the total area of the body giving out heat radiations, the heat energy will be multiplied by the area and it will be sigma A t to the power 4 minus t naught to the power 4. In your experiment, the radiating copper plate is acting as a black body. So, if we neglect the heat transfer on account of conduction and convection through the air in contact with the black body, the electric power fed to the heater element is equal to the power radiated by the copper disc which is black body at steady state temperature. Now, what is steady state temperature? The steady state temperature will be the temperature of the black body at which the radiation received by the body is equal to the radiation emitted by the black body. Therefore, if V is the potential difference across the heater element, I is the current passing through it, then we can write that E is equal to V cross I and this will be equal to sigma A t to the power 4 minus T naught to the power 4 and therefore, you can calculate the value of Stephen's constant sigma which is given by this relation. The standard value of Stephen's constant is 5.6703 into 10 power minus 8 watt per meter square per k to the power Kelvin to the power 4. This is the experimental setup. This is your copper disc and these are three thermometers used to record the temperature. This is your power supply and you will apply some voltage. The temperature of this thermometer will increase. When steady state is reached, the temperature of this thermometer will be maintained at a constant value. When temperature is constant in three thermometers, you will note the reading corresponding value of current is 
noted and temperature is also noted. Now I will try to explain the procedure with the help of this animation. As you can see the three thermometers are inserted in the holes provided in the copper plate and you have to note the temperature of these three thermometers at steady state. That is when the temperature of these thermometer will be at a constant value. So for a particular value of voltage and current you have to note the three readings x1, y1, z1 of these three thermometers at a particular V. The second reading you have to change the V and take these three readings again for third value of the voltage you will take the three readings of the temperature at steady state. These are the steps which I have explained you already to the animation. So the precautions to be kept in mind that the readings of thermometers are only taken at steady state. The applied voltage must not vary during a set of reading. These are the reference books. Thank you.